What's up guys? Welcome back to David D. Fab. I'm David. Uh, we got the power wagon out and rat bucket out. We did a little photo shoot. So what we did today was work on the drivetrain, the steering, uh, exhaust, and brakes. So we're going to show you all that in this episode, what we did to it. So sit back, relax. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Uh, running out of daylight a little bit trying to get this done uh, we went ahead and put a new throttle lever the other one broke so I had to get a metal one we got the cable running through the throttle and all that's good uh, came down here made steering more stable got it going underneath there uh, kill switch put that on and the brakes we kind of went a little bit overboard but it's all right though so had to make a bracket and stuff to come out for our manual hand brake we went ahead and come on with this embracing kind of got fancy with the expanded metal which this whole thing has got expanded metal on it sparrow helped me out a little bit so we got that all done and come here with a rod come to the front this is our handle you see I have two more holes cut out. That way I can set it wherever I wanted it to. Well, I went ahead and set it to the bottom. So it actually does pretty good. And I just got it welded to a bolt and a nut. And just to keep it like that with a spring, come back, keep it to spring back. So we got that done. So kind of going a lot more than what I did to this one so we will now come to drivetrain put some more tensioners on it top ones are just on springs and you know when it expands out once it gets straight all the tensioners on top will just act like a spring uh, got all that done we ain't even drove it yet well clutch we even go five feet maybe in the clutches jump the you know cheap amazon clutches uh so we're probably going to go to the shed and rob a clutch off just to see if we can get this thing going if not then i'm gonna have to just wait and i don't i don't want to do a torque conversion because that actually take up all that room probably won't even fit in there so i just probably have to get a heavier duty clutch oh, i'm sorry heavy duty clutch for that we just have to wait uh exhaust i'm just using some old metal i had now some old uh champ cart that i did for the engine fire engine now this is just temporary i don't want you know smoke and all exhaust fumes going to my face so we're just making it come down right now i'll get another one made later i'm gonna get this all tacked up and on and i'm gonna come back and put a uh, air filter and stuff on it and some more little goodies just for right now uh, gas tank stay where it's at but we are coming closer to completion on this thing so once we get the exhaust welded get it mounted back on then we go get the clutch put it on and we'll actually just see if we can ride it so all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and take this exhaust off get it all welded up mount it back on now remember this is just a temporary piece I'm come back with a fancier exhaust probably do it like it is now but make it fatter at the end that would look really, really killer so go ahead and start wheeling up this exhaust
I need a table for all this. Uh, ouch. Well, that won't come off. Let's see if it won't come off on there. Aha, got it. All right, so we are welded up, as I can see. So, take that off, put you back on. Now that's hot still. So I did my best to try to keep it away from the nuts because last time I did one of these, I over welded and uh, couldn't get the nuts on. So, it actually looks pretty good. And get this popped up. The other side. Tighten it down. Tighten down. We will now go to the shed and rob a clutch. All right, we are in the shed along with everything else. And only one I have that's a little more hefty than the one we had is this one right here. This is the right side. Oh, we'll probably have to do something to get that off. So. Okay, so it came off a little easier than expected. But this one, I think I got it for like 40, 50 bucks. I don't know if it was either Go Power Sports or OMB Warehouse. But, uh, yeah, this is one we're going to go with because it's a little better than the one we had, I hope. So we'll put that on. And in the back wheel, we might go for a test run. Back wheel is on, the exhaust is done. That was a fun ride. Definitely need a new clutch. Stronger clutch, more high performance. Carry all that weight. But uh, she rides good. 
on asphalt, not on grass, but. Yeah, all that old paint coming off of the exhaust. And the clutch is about shot now too, it's smoke. So. A few more tweaks, I think we got. Definitely need to upgrade clutches. Because this is a lot of weight. I keep adding on more and more stuff. So. But other than that, I think she drives good, steers good, even though I gotta take wide turns, but drive train's holding up pretty good. A little smokage from a clutch and exhaust. But yeah, I mean the brakes got to adjust them a little bit more, get it good and tight. Exhaust, steering's done, drivetrain. So next episode, I guess we're gonna do some ironing in things, get the motor and stuff right, get a new clutch. Uh, may tweak with the tensioners and stuff a little bit. Do more things if it comes to mind. Uh, definitely putting some bigger wheels. The reason why I spaced it out like it is is because I want to put some beefier tires on the back and that'll also raise up the rear so the chain won't be that high off the ground, maybe an inch and a half, two inches. So it'll probably be about three and a half inches, I'm hoping. But yeah, these are just tense fit tires. So definitely gonna have something a little meatier on there make it look meaner so yeah but that is uh, all the time we got for this episode i uh, just wanted to do a little brake deal and drive around a little bit with a little clutch we had left so next time she'll, she'll be running good so yeah so thank y'all for watching and i hope y'all enjoyed it uh if you ain't subscribed go ahead and subscribe to david e fab and thank y'all see y'all later god bless